AI videos are getting insanely realistic, almost too real, but that's not even the craziest part. With Minimax's latest update, we're directing, choosing camera angles, motion and movement like real filmmakers. In this video, I'll show you exactly how to create videos with full creative control, but before that, we're gonna look at some of the AI generated clips making waves on Twitter. On Minimax's interface, when you click the create button and go to texts to video, you'll see two tabs, cinematic shot and free selection. In the cinematic shot tab, we have these three options to choose from. There's left circling and right circling. The camera moves in a circular motion around the subject, kind of like those dramatic Grammy shots or product shots. Then there's upward and downward tilt. The camera pans up or down to reveal the scene. For left and right walking, the camera follows your subject as they move left or right. In stage left and stage right, the camera rolls left or right. If all this sounds like a lot, don't worry, I'll show you examples of each so you can see them in action one by one. In free selection, truck left and right, the entire camera moves sideways. This is different from pan left and right, where the camera stays in one spot but rotates left or right. There's push in and out, the camera itself moves forward or backwards. It's different from zoom in and out. There's tilt up and down. The camera tilts up or down while staying in a place. There's pedestal up and down. Instead of tilting, the entire camera moves physically up or down. And there's a tracking shot, classic movie move. We all know what that is. Before trying this out, we'll look at some of the generations posted on Twitter. Someone just posted this insane video of a T-Rex like creature running through a city and looks straight out of a Hollywood movie. The camera pushes in as the creature stomps forward, making the destruction feel even more intense. The fire seems consistent, the whole vibe just fits perfectly. But what's even crazier is not just the visuals, AI has gotten so advanced that even the cameras follow the action exactly as directed. Another user posted this video where it explains out what the prompt is and how the camera is following the particular prompt. Here's one where the camera is panning up and zooming in. And then there's the famous tracking shot with slow pan right. And all of these videos look super realistic. Another one with a over the shoulder shot and then a slow pan to the window straight out of a high budget film. These videos aren't just super realistic, it's the camera work that makes them feel next level. There's another example, the camera tilts down and pushes in on a character running. And the movement is crazy smooth. Let's play with this. For the first prompt, I'm going with a detective walks into a room full of gangsters. I want the camera to follow him from behind and then tilt up to capture the whole room. Honestly, pretty solid generation. The camera does follow him from behind and then pushes in on his face. Not exactly how I imagined it, but still, as the detective turns, the camera pushes in and tilts up slightly adding some nice drama to the shot. All the characters stay consistent, no weird AI hallucinations, no sudden glitches, it actually looks coherent and cinematic. Let's try another one. This time I'm going with a detective walking through New York in the rain. I want the camera to follow him as he moves and, and then I'll test out the scenic shot feature to see what it does. Not bad at all, the camera follows him from the right angle as he smokes in the rain, but the ending no clue what happened there, the camera just glitched and randomly shifted, maybe with better prompting, that wouldn't happen. Still, for the first part of the prompt, it stuck to the vision really well. Guys, if you're into AI related news and tutorials, do like and subscribe. Next up, I want a gangster type guy sitting while the phone rings. The idea is for the camera to move up from below and then shift towards right towards the phone. Bro, this is insanely realistic. I'm actually impressed. The camera does move up from below and the whole vibe is on point. There's moody lighting. The guy looks like he's straight out of a crime film. The only thing missing, I wanted the phone to come into view as the camera panned it right. But still, it's a solid execution. For this one, I wanted the sweeping right camera feel. So I went with the prompt, a lone guy in an abandoned city surrounded by skyscrapers. And honestly, pretty solid generation. The whole aura is spot on. The city feels abandoned. The camera moves smoothly to the right, 
revealing the full scale of the emptiness. It even picked on grass growing on buildings and abandoned cars, adding to the whole post-apocalyptic vibe. For this one, I wanted a high angle shot with the camera above tilting down, so I went with a soldier sits in a muddy trench writing a letter. The camera didn't quite start from above like I imagined, but it did tilt downwards, capturing the soldier as he hurries to finish writing. Um, as the camera moves, it's not exactly what I had in mind. The generation itself is solid, the camera movement is smooth, no weird glitches, and the war tone atmosphere stays consistent throughout. Even the characters look natural, no added distortions. Overall a pretty decent shot, just not exactly the perspective I was aiming for. For this one, I wanted a steady shot, so I tried out a prompt I got from ChatGPT. A man brushing his teeth while his reflection stays still, smiling. Not exactly how I envisioned it, probably a bit too complex for the model to fully grasp. Instead of the reflection staying still, uh, it mirrors the man's movement, which isn't quite the effect I wanted. That said, uh, still captures a spooky vibe, which kinda works in its own way. The camera stays completely static, no weird shifts or jitters, so that part was on point. As for the execution, I mean not perfect, but definitely interesting. For the last one, I wanted a push in camera movement, so I went with a king sits on his throne, and honestly, it nailed it. The camera pushes in smoothly, exactly how I want it. The only thing is, it has a bit of an animated feel to it. AI is evolving at a crazy pace. At this rate, I wouldn't be surprised if stock videos start getting replaced just like stock images. Let me know what you think.